Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by MyPillow. Get two premium pillows for the price of one by using the promo code WEIRD when you visit MyPillow.com. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Walmart has announced a program that will pay for their employees to go to college and get a degree. Upon graduation, you'll be qualified to move up to the cashier position. In her new role as a British royal, Meghan Markle has given up some things the rest of us take for granted – things like her privacy and independence, her career, and she can't voice her political opinions. Plus, she can no longer cross her legs or wear colored nail polish. You know, all the stuff Princess Di did anyway just to tick off her royal highness. Sears announced it's going to close another 72 stores. Man, it is good I still have Radio Shack then, huh? What? What well, What do you mean Radio Shack is gone? Where am I supposed to do all of my Christmas shopping then? The Southwest Airlines flight from San Francisco to LA had to make an emergency landing after a passenger smoked a joint in the bathroom, setting off the smoke alarm. Once the smoke alarm went off, the pilot had to make an emergency landing. Wow, it doesn't really take much to bring down a plane nowadays, does it? Monks in England who make Buckfast tonic wine are under fire after the high alcohol content wine was cited as a cause of 6,500 incidents of antisocial and violent behavior. And obviously, it's the fault of the monks, right? Because they chased down and, and forced all 6,500 of those people to drink their wine to excess, and then they sent them off with instructions to kill, maim, and destroy. What, no? Okay, well then how do you explain why the monks are getting blamed? A recent study suggests better access to stairs in office buildings with signs reminding people to use them might encourage workers to get more exercise. Key word there being might. Now please point me to the escalator. Now President Trump is threatening to block German luxury cars from the U.S. market, which would be devastating for the three people living here that can afford one. Actress Bridget Nielsen, Sylvester Stallone's ex, is pregnant at the age of 54. It'll be her fifth child. She's planning to go the natural childbirth route by looking menacingly at her baby bump and ordering the baby out or face the consequences. Roseanne Barr's ex-husband, Tom Arnold, says Roseanne sent out that offensive tweet last week about Valerie Jarrett because she was trying to get her show canceled. He adds she wanted it to happen. Uh, no, I don't think so, Tom. If that's the case, she could have just stayed off of social media and decided not to show up for work. Samantha Bee has apologized after calling Ivanka Trump a nasty curse word on her TBS show last week. You know, I would demand that she be treated like Roseanne Barr and get her TV show canceled too, but she's on TBS, so it's pretty much like she's not on television already. Keep listening, there's more weird news to come. Hey, it's Darren, and you know the folks at MyPillow, they said, hey, Darren, can you try out a MyPillow and let us know what you think? Well, I was skeptical. I mean, it's a pillow, but what did I have to lose, right? Well, I'll tell you what I lost. Interrupted sleep. Yeah. No more folding the pillow in half, no more flat, lifeless pillows, no more using two pillows to get comfortable, which is what I used to do. This pillow has changed the way I sleep, so I'm letting you know about it. You need my pillow. No, 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 um, not my pillow, but you need your own my pillow. That's what I meant to say. It stays cool all night long. No more waking up at 3 a.m. to flip to the cool side of the pillow. It also keeps its shape. No more reshaping your pillow in the middle of the night. It also comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee, so if you try it and you decide it's just not for you, you can return it. No problem. If you do keep it, though, check this out. My pillow comes with a 10-year warranty. Tell me your pillow has a 10-year warranty. I don't think so. Also, when it's time to wash it, you can just toss my pillow into your washer and dryer and it's like new again. You can't do that with any other pillow. And well, right now, as a special welcome to all of my weirdo family members, you can get two premium my pillows for one low price. Just go to MyPillow.com and enter the promo code WEIRD. That's MyPillow.com and then use the promo code WEIRD. 
You can also call 800-945-7192. That's 800-945-7192 or MyPillow.com. Either way, be sure to use that promo code WEIRD to get two pillows for the price of one. New research says caffeine improves your memory. The team at Johns Hopkins University found that caffeine had measurable positive effects on both short-term and long-term memory. Now if I could just remember where I left my coffee mug. A Texas police officer responded to a noise complaint. When he arrived at an apartment complex, he found some teens having a barbecue, playing some music, and doing some boxing. So the officer, a longtime recreational boxer himself, slipped on a set of gloves and went around with one of the teens. You know, I can only assume that the teen was a Caucasian, because any other shade of melanin would mean liberal media would be reporting the story in a much more ominous tone. They'd be saying, like, teen beat up in his own backyard by racist cop. The Cameron Diaz house in the movie The Holiday can be yours now for $12 million. $12 million for one house. At that cost, it better come with Cameron Diaz included. Indiana State University researchers suggest you help kids get in shape by adding weights to their toys. Y uh, yeah, uh, uh, well, aren't 16-pound yo-yos inherently dangerous? The Scottish hospital has opened a rehab clinic to treat cryptocurrency addicts. Oh no, the doctor says I have Bitcoinitis. We all know that Americans don't eat their fruits and veggies, but data from the USDA lets us count the ways. According to figures that compare actual grocery spending with what the government recommends over an eight-year period, we're buying a fraction of green vegetables, legumes, and whole fruits than what's suggested. Instead, we buy way more juice, frozen dinners, and candy. Well, yeah, but the candy is fruit-flavored, so it's pretty much a non-issue. A couple in Milan, Italy, decided to name their baby girl Blue, spelled B-L-U, which is the Italian spelling for the color blue. But then they were ordered by a court to change the name to something more suitable for a girl or risk having it changed for them. According to a presidential decree issued in the year 2000, the name given to a child must correspond to their sex. And Italian authorities apparently don't consider Blue to be a suitable name for a girl. I didn't realize that colors had gender, so okay, how about naming her pink? Now there's a study that says obese people enjoy food less than those who are lean. That sounds like a challenge to me. Bring it on! A British man getting ready to have breakfast one recent morning got a shock when a three-foot-long snake slithered out of the cereal box and into his dishwasher. The cereal companies, they're really running out of ideas for prizes inside the boxes, aren't they? Social networks such as Twitter may blunt people's sense of reality, according to brain scientists. New evidence shows the digital explosion of information from networking sites could have long-term damaging effects on the emotional development of young people's brains. The danger is that heavy Twitter and Facebook users could become indifferent to the emotions of people. So they'll become Kanye West? According to a study, Americans are the world's most insufferable tourists. And now you know why the French are so rude to us. A woman in the UK ordered food to be delivered to her home just so the delivery person would help her remove a spider. She tweeted, My fear of spiders was taken to a whole new level today. I ordered food in a hope that the delivery driver would remove the spider. Thankfully, delivery guy Joe was able to come to her rescue. Certain locations of Domino's Pizza are now offering 30 minutes or less exterminations. A mathematical formula shows that whining and dining, rather than giving expensive presents, is the best way for men to woo women. Plus, if your date stands you up, you can grab yourself a second dinner to take home with you. Psychology researcher Felix Warnigan discovered that babies develop altruism at around 18 months. He did household tasks in front of 24 different toddlers. Every time he knocked over a book or dropped a clothespin, the toddler would quickly crawl over, pick up the object, and hand it back. He never asked for help or said thank you because he didn't want to influence their behavior. But he found that the babies only helped when he appeared to accidentally drop something and needed help not when it looked like he did it on purpose. 
And yet, the kids never, never picked up their own toys. A Florida woman found Jesus Christ on a horseshoe crab shell last month. Kathy Rader said a friend gave her the shell after he found it on a Canaveral National Seashore in New Smyrna Beach. Rader said the image kept getting lighter as each day passed and started to resemble a Rembrandt picture of Jesus Christ, bringing her to tears. Then again, those tears might just be an allergic reaction to shellfish. United States Postal Service will introduce scratch-and-sniff stamps later this month. Ah, this one smells like the inside of a postal truck. Harry and Meghan had to return $9.3 million worth of wedding gifts because of British government guidelines. They had to give away $9.3 million. You know, that right there, that's reason enough to disavow British royalty and apply for citizenship in America. Former New York mayor and current Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani says President Trump could have shot former FBI Director James Comey without being indicted. Man, there's been a lot of references to Trump shooting people over the last couple of years, hasn't there? Is he actually considering doing this? Genetically engineered mosquitoes could help eradicate malaria. The students at Anthony James Insectary at the University of California, Irvine, have genetically engineered mosquitoes that carry genes that stop the malaria parasite from growing. Okay, you know, how, how about we just come up with a way to rid the world of mosquitoes? I mean, wouldn't that be a better plan? Keep listening, there's more weird news to come. So the folks at MyPillow, they said, hey, Darren, can you try out a MyPillow and let us know what you think? I was skeptical. I mean, it's a pillow, right? So what did I have to lose? Well, I'll tell you what I lost. Interrupted sleep. No more folding the pillow in half. No more flat, lifeless pillows. No more using two pillows to get comfortable. It changed the way I sleep, and so I'm letting you know about it. You need my pillow. Actually, you need your own my pillow. It stays cool all night long, so you're not waking up at 3 a.m. to flip to the cool side of the pillow. It also keeps its shape. You're not reshaping your pillow in the middle of the night. This comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee, so if you do try it and you decide, nah, you just don't want to keep it, you can return it, no problem. But if you do keep it, check this out. My pillow comes with a 10-year warranty. You have a pillow that comes with a 10-year warranty? I don't think so. Even cooler, you can toss a My Pillow into your washer and dryer and it's like new again. You can't do that with any other pillow. Well, right now, as a special welcome to the podcast, you can get two premium My Pillows for one low price. Just go to mypillow.com and enter promo code WEIRD. That's mypillow.com, then use the promo code WEIRD. Or you can call 1 800 945 7192. That's 1 800 945 7192. Or again, go to mypillow.com. Either way, be sure to use that promo code WEIRD. Montel Williams was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance on Wednesday after he overdid it at the gym. Okay, If you're being carted to a hospital after working out, it might be time to ask a personal trainer what you're doing wrong. Reports have emerged that Benedict Cumberbatch, who plays superhero Doctor Strange, took on four muggers who were attacking a delivery person. The incident will be recreated in the new Marvel TV series Avengers Law & Order. A study says men with high testosterone levels are less likely to be religious. Right, so I love Jesus because I need hormone treatments? I have yet to come across that passage in my Bible. The NBA Player Association has hired their first director of mental health. They missed Dennis Rodman by only 18 years. The journal Nature reports that researchers in Zurich, Switzerland, have found a musician whose brain wires are crossed in such a way that she senses taste when she hears music. For instance, a minor third tastes salty to her. A minor second chord is sour. Major third tastes sweet. And when she hears today's pop music, she tastes bile. Revlon has named their first female CEO in their 86-year history, Deborah Perelman. Really? So a female targeted company has only had men running it for the past 86 years? What, were they all closet transvestites? Police in Clearwater, Florida have arrested 56-year-old James Bundrick after he was found uh, pleasuring himself at a bus stop around 11.20 a.m. While officers on the scene said it was obvious what he was doing, when they asked the man, he said, I'm scratching myself. 
After the man was arrested for disorderly conduct, police asked him to identify himself. He then told officers his name was James Tiberius Kirk, the full name of the fictional character Captain Kirk from Star Trek. Kind of a stupid thing to say, because now Bundrick is also facing a charge of providing a false name or identity to law enforcement. Matt LeBlanc says he has one more season of Top Gear in him and then he is done. But then it's Matt LeBlanc, so lasting only one or two seasons is pretty much par for the course. Tom Cruise tipped off that the filming for the Top Gun sequel is underway. Unfortunately, it has been 32 years since the first film and he's too old to convincingly play Maverick, so they've changed his call sign to Methuselah. Half the nation's overweight teens have unhealthy blood pressure, cholesterol, or blood sugar levels that put them at risk for future heart attacks and other cardiac problems, according to federal research. And an even larger proportion of obese adolescents have such a risk, according to the alarming new numbers. What this is saying, unfortunately, is that we're losing the battle early with many kids, said Dr. Stephen Daniels, the University of Colorado School of Medicine expert. Most health experts believe the solution is to somehow find a way for teenagers to burn calories simply by logging into Snapchat. Kanye West held a listening party in Jackson, Wyoming Thursday night for his eighth studio album. Among those attending, Chris Rock, Jonah Hill, and his wife Kim Kardashian West. He wanted to invite more people than that, but there was no room once Kim got her butt through the door. The nuclear reactor at Three Mile Island will reportedly be shut down in 2019. All right, raise your hands if you already thought it was shut down. Yeah, yeah, me, me too. On Monday this week, the very first driver's license ever issued to a woman was given out in Saudi Arabia. Jeez! Next thing you know, they're going to want to own a car. Turn on your TV during prime time and you'll inevitably see a load of celebrity faces, ranging from Oscar winners to, hey, wasn't that the guy in that show we watched that one time? Well, attaching a star to a brand is something that advertisers have been doing for many decades. But science says that people just don't care and that it may have a negative impact on the brand that the celebrity's pushing. Which means you're actually much better off having an average Joe pitch your project. So please contact my agent if you're interested in hiring me to endorse your product. Kim Jong-un wants the U.S. to pay his hotel bill for the upcoming summit with Donald Trump. And that's got to be a slap in the face to Trump, isn't it? Seeing as Kim won't be staying at one of his hotels. Bill Clinton is insisting he does not owe Monica Lewinsky an apology and says he is the victim because the legal fallout left him $16 million in debt. Yeah, exactly what you'd expect from a sociopath. A sociopath currently worth $80 million living in a house valued at over $2 million. Lindsay Lohan has launched her own jewelry line. The jewelry is very impressive and desirable in the beginning, but then quickly loses its luster and longs for the days when it was relevant. An Ohio man called 911 recently to report that a pig was following him. Which is a really stupid thing to do if you think about it. I mean, one of the derogatory terms for police officers is pigs. So you're calling 911 to have a pig sent to investigate you being followed by a pig. There's a group of White House staffers who reportedly compose some of President Trump's tweets to intentionally include grammatical and spelling errors in an effort to mimic Trump's style. Okay, you know what? No matter whose account it is and whether or not you use spell check, whatever, if, if you're paying people to compose tweets for you, you are way too concerned about Twitter. Junk food – bad for your waistline, bad for your relationship. It may be fun to wolf down a value meal with your sweetie, but what follows might not be pretty. Researchers discovered that meals high in saturated fats resulted in greater increase in stress hormones and more inflammation during heated discussions, especially if those discussions revolve around being upset that your significant other is fat and wasting too much money on junk food. Speaking of food, lunch with Warren Buffett was put to auction the other night and had a winning bid of $3.3 million. I wonder if that includes the tip. Good news for Sheboygan, Wisconsin. A repeat offender who deliberately clogged dozens of public toilets in Deland Park has finally been caught and arrested. For over two years, the 33-year-old man would stuff empty soft drink bottles into the toilets, leaving them completely blocked and unusable. Police were tipped off by a citizen and finally caught the guy. 
Police said that he had damaged a woman's bathroom at a Michigan community center at least 30 times in the past two years. Well, you know, you'd think a man entering the women's restroom might have been their first clue that something was suspicious. In England, some new parents regret to inform us that their baby's very first word was Alexa, which is adorable until you find out later that the baby accidentally ordered a rush delivery of an exotic kitty cat to your door. Hmm, I don't know that one. Shut up. A report says Joel Olstein's church has a $90 million annual budget, although that amount cuts in half if you don't count the hair care products. Keep listening, there's more weird news to come. So the folks at MyPillow said, hey, Darren, can you try out a MyPillow and let us know what you think? Well, I was skeptical. I mean, it's a pillow. But what did I have to lose, right? Well, I'll tell you what I lost. Interrupted sleep. No more folding the pillow in half. No more flat, lifeless pillows. No more using two pillows to get comfortable. It changed the way I sleep. So I'm letting you know about it. You need my pillow. Well, not actually my pillow. You need your own my pillow. It stays cool all night long. No more waking up at 3 a.m. to flip to the cool side of the pillow. It keeps its shape. No more reshaping your pillow in the middle of the night. It comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it, and if you don't like it, fine, return it. 60 days to try it out. And if you do keep it, well, my pillow comes with a 10-year warranty. Do you have a pillow that comes with a 10-year warranty? I don't think so. You can toss a my pillow into your washer and dryer, and it's like new again. Try doing that with your current pillow. Well, right now they have a special deal just for my weirdo family members. You can get two premium my pillows for one low price. Just go to mypillow.com and enter the promo code WEIRD. That's mypillow.com and then use the promo code WEIRD. Or you can call 1 800 945 7192. That's 800 945 7192 or mypillow.com. Either way, be sure to use that promo code WEIRD. Could orange juice provide a bigger boost than energy drinks? Korean office workers who were given a high dose of intravenous vitamin C were less tired than those who received a placebo, especially if they were low in C before the treatment. Well, yeah, it's intravenous vitamin C. I mean, give me intravenous Red Bull, I can guarantee there's going to be a difference. Nevada has introduced syringe vending machines to fight the heroin crisis there. So you're fighting heroin by giving people easier access to tools used to do heroin. Oh yeah, I don't see any problems with that plan. President Ronald Reagan's daughter, Patty Davis, says that her dad would be appalled and heartbroken at the Trump presidency. <laughs> hey, what a coincidence! So are the Trump haters. In Chicago, a 48-year-old woman fell from the Belmont Red and Brown Line train platform onto the tracks. It wasn't exactly her fault. It seems she made the mistake of asking the man to stop urinating off the platform, and he responded by punching her in the face. She got his photo on her phone, and as the exchange escalated, the man threatened to kill her, she says, and added, As I walked away, I felt this hit in the back of my head and I fell onto the tracks. I immediately rolled over to see if there was a train coming. A couple of bystanders jumped down to help, and she was pulled back up onto the platform. She suffered a head injury and was later transported to Illinois Masonic Hospital, where she said that she received staples in her head and a soft cast for her hand. Detectives are investigating and searching for a black male, 30 to 40 years old, 5 feet 9 to 5 feet 11 inches tall, and weighing 170 to 190 pounds. He was wearing a black jacket and a camouflage Cubs baseball hat. See? A White Sox fan would never have done this. What strikes fear in the hearts of men? proposing to their sweethearts. In fact, a recent survey shows that popping the question ranks just below swimming with sharks. The idea of proposing was more frightening to men than jumping out of airplanes, going for a job interview, or wearing an opponent's jersey at a sporting event. In the final analysis, swimming with sharks ranked scariest among 28% of men polled, while proposing came in a close second with 23% which makes perfect sense, I mean, because either way, you are at a great risk of getting your head bitten off. Johnny Depp's emaciated appearance lately has fans worried about his health, and I'm not buying his excuse that he's just going method to play one of the skeletons in an upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean sequel. 
Australia's supermarket giants Woolworths and Coles have banned plastic straws and plastic wrap from 80 different fruits and vegetables. Well, who uses a straw to eat fruits and vegetables? A shocking report – all Fruit Loops taste the same. Foodbeast.com recently conducted a blind taste test to determine if consumers could distinguish the difference between the brightly colored rings of sweet goodness found in Fruit Loops and found that each color was exactly the same flavor. Not content on just ruining Fruit Loops for generations to come, they also used the same methodology to discredit the disguising colors behind Trix and Fruity Pebbles. Up next, they find out if Girl Scout cookies are made with real Girl Scouts. Aaron Rodgers has been given an honorary doctorate from the Medical College of Wisconsin. You can get an honorary degree from a medical school? Does that mean you can operate on patients? Or only honorary patients? Kanye West confirms on his new album that he is bipolar, which comes as a surprise to absolutely no one. There is a highly contagious, little-known virus that has killed all of its victims so far in India. I just thought I'd tell you in case you're bored and have absolutely nothing to worry about. There is something romantic, historic, and often mysterious about a wine cellar. Now, drop a wine cellar in a funeral home and, well, then suddenly it's creepy. Or does it make the visitation more fun? Well, Hodge's Funeral Home in North Naples, Florida is, as far as we know, the first wine cellar at a funeral parlor in the entire country. And at least this way, you know that something will get better as it ages once it's put underground. A new report says that the divorce rate of people 50 and older has doubled since the 1990s. You know, that might be due to the longer life expectancies of adults. Till death do us part used to mean kicking the bucket in your late 40s. Well, I didn't know I'd have to live with you this long. After nearly 100 years, the Miss America organization has announced that it will no longer judge our candidates on outward physical appearance and has therefore eliminated the swimsuit competition. No more swimsuits. Well, there go the final 17 viewers who actually still tuned into that thing. Crayola is coming out with a makeup line. You know, as thick as the makeup is on today's teenagers, I thought Crayola already had a line of eyeliners and lipstick. Hey, do you think the cosmetics will come in a box that has a built-in crayon sharpener? That'd be awesome. A new study concludes that dolphins and humans perceive the world in fundamentally similar ways, which is why I almost never argue politics with a dolphin. In St. John's, Florida, police arrested 58-year-old Kerry Nudson after he allegedly struck a child for, quote, eating all the Cheez-Its and drinking all the tea, unquote. Nudson faces a charge of cruelty toward a child and, according to police, was highly intoxicated when an officer arrived at the home. Nudson told the officer he had gotten into an argument with the child because Nudson told the child not to eat all the Cheez-Its or drink all the tea, but the child did. The man has just been voted dad most deserving of a beatdown. A man is swimming from Japan to the United States. I wonder if he checked his calendar. Man, I hope that's not happening during Shark Week. Oprah is buying a 43-acre estate on Orcas Island up in the San Juan Islands of Washington State for $8.275 million. Man, you got to admire Oprah, don't you? I mean, it takes a brave woman to be overweight yet positive enough to buy land named after a kind of whale. New York State Senator Marty Golden was photographed skydiving recently. This is despite the fact that he's been collecting a disability pension on the taxpayer's dime for decades. Golden has been paid over a million dollars in tax-free pension money since 1983. But it has been, like, with 35 years, maybe Marty was feeling better? Running on empty may not be such a bad idea after all. Though many athletes do eat before training, some scientists say that if you really want to get rid of more fat, you should skip the pre-workout snack. But I can still have my mid-workout Kit Kat, though, right? The International House of Pancakes, or IHOP, says that it's changing its name to IHOB, and it'll explain why this coming Monday. The 60-year-old franchise's announcement was made on Twitter on Tuesday, saying, "...for 60 pancaking years, we've been IHOP. Now we're flipping our name to IHOB." Speculation is that the B will stand for breakfast, or maybe brunch. 
Others think it's a PR stunt to promote some new bacon-related menu items. Personally, I think it stands for International House of Botulism. Tom Arnold, Roseanne Barr's ex-husband, says Roseanne is obviously a racist and that she needs to get off Twitter. Sounds like he's just a bit torqued that he wasn't invited to be on the reboot, even as an extra. Meanwhile, there is more talk about grabbing the rest of the cast of Roseanne and bringing them all back together for another season without Roseanne. You know, I would say that this is utterly ridiculous, but you know what? So was bringing back John Goodman, despite him dying in the first run of the series, so who knows anymore? Smartphones used for solving business problems at night can result in a hangover. Research shows using a smartphone to cram in more work at night results in less work the next day. And the reason is simple. They keep us mentally engaged late into the evening. They make it hard to detach from work so we can relax and fall asleep. In other words, iPhones cause hangovers. Poor Mel has recalled over 220,000 pounds of spam. I have no idea what took them this long. Keep listening, there's more weird news on the way. So the folks at MyPillow said, hey, Darren, can you try out a MyPillow and let us know what you think? I was skeptical. I mean, it's a pillow. <laughs> what do you expect? So, well, but what did I have to lose, right? So I tried it and, well, I loved it. The only thing I lost was interrupted sleep. No more folding the pillow in half. No more flat, lifeless pillows. I don't have to use two pillows to get comfortable anymore. This really changed the way I sleep, so I'm telling you about my pillow. It stays cool all night long. There's no more waking up at 3 a.m. to flip to the cool side. It keeps its shape. You're not reshaping your pillow in the middle of the night. It also comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee. You try it, you don't like it, well, you can return it, no problem. If you do keep it, though, it comes with a 10-year warranty. You don't have a pillow at home that has a 10-year warranty. Trust me, you don't. And you can also toss this pillow, your my pillow, in your washer and dryer. It's like new again. You cannot do that with your current pillows either. Well, right now, as a special offer just to my weirdo family, you can get two premium my pillows for one low price. Just go to mypillow.com and enter the promo code WEIRD. That's mypillow.com, then use the promo code WEIRD, or you can call 800 945 7192. That's 800 945 7192, or visit mypillow.com and be sure to use the promo code WEIRD. So the North Korea summit is back on, but the Philadelphia Eagles summit was canceled. The day before the team was supposed to make its Super Bowl victory visit to the White House, President Trump disinvited them because of comments made by several members of the team and the whole national anthem issue. You know what? Somebody should make sure that the Star Spangled Banner plays while Kim Jong Un is visiting, and somebody should tell him to kneel as it as it plays. You know, just to see what happens. Tell me you would not watch that. Speaking of Rocket Man, it turns out that the fast food restaurant Kim Jong Un wants to open in North Korea is a McDonald's. That is not going to help him much with that pudgy figure of his. Fire crews are supposed to save people, but in Phoenix, a man was in critical condition after a fire crew ran over or bumped him in the driveway of a fire station while responding to a call. Sergeant Armando Carbajal with the Phoenix Police Department said that a crew was leaving the Phoenix Fire Station No. 3 when the incident occurred. Firefighters reportedly heard a bump noise and saw a backpack on the ground when they looked in the rearview mirror of their vehicle. Crews immediately started to treat the man and transported him to a local hospital. While being treated, the man said, gee, you guys were in a rush, where's the fire? LeBron James says he wants his teammates to be uncomfortable. He could always ask the president and Roseanne Barr to come in and give a pregame talk. That'd probably make him uncomfortable. Howard Schultz is stepping down from his role as executive chairman of Starbucks, effective June 26th. The rumor is still out there that he might run for president in a couple of years. You know, if one of his campaign promises will be to give all Americans free Starbucks coffee for life, he's getting my vote. Police say a standoff in a Bay County, Florida grocery store between a hammer-wielding suspect and local law enforcement ended in an arrest and multiple charges after one quick-thinking official dinged the suspect in the back with two cans of baked beans. So remember, the only thing that'll stop a bad guy with a hammer is a good guy with a can of Bush's Extra Brown Sugar Baked Beans. A Middletown, Connecticut woman got upset over her Wendy's order and hit the cashier with a burger. 
She'll be in court June 15th, fighting the charge of assault with a delicious weapon. Pot is not the only gateway to the munchies. Not getting enough sleep will have you reaching for cheesy puffs, too. University of Chicago researchers discovered that getting fewer than five hours of sleep per night produces higher levels of a lipid that makes starchy and sweet foods more pleasurable to eat. And you might as well just give up if you're getting too little sleep because you're staying up late to smoke weed. There have been over 9,900 earthquakes in Hawaii the past 30 days. In fact, it's happening so much that you no longer have to be moving to get the hula girl dancing on your car's dashboard. An interesting thing happened in Louisville, Kentucky that demonstrates just how much we as a country have let ourselves slide when it comes to determining our loyalties and our perspectives. Ben Bowling was delivering his speech as valedictorian at Bell County High School. Wanting to impart a nugget of wisdom to the crowd, he offered the following quote, which he said he found during an internet search. Quote, Don't just get involved, fight for your seat at the table. Better yet, fight for a seat at the head of the table. Unquote. He then revealed the source of the quote, none other than President Donald J. Trump, which elicited wild applause and cheers from the crowd. But then, Ben said, just kidding, and informed the audience that the true source of the quote was Barack Obama. The crowd suddenly fell silent, save for a lone boo from one of the graduating students. So let that be a lesson, weirdos. It's not important what someone said, it's who said it that matters. Well, at least here in 2018. A survey reveals what many fathers have been saying for years – dads do, in fact, get slighted on Father's Day. The study reports that 86 percent of Americans shell out more money on Mother's Day than they do on Father's Day. See, now this is exactly why I ask my dad for money every year – so I can buy him a Father's Day gift. A couple of weeks after Meghan Markle got married, her first husband, Trevor Engelson, announced his engagement. Sounds like he was waiting until the very end on the off chance Megan might change her mind. A historic Memphis, Tennessee theater, which has shown Gone with the Wind screenings for 34 years, has decided to remove the classic film from its schedule due to its racially insensitive content. Now, you expect this kind of idiocy in California, but who knew pansies lived in Tennessee? A Florida man has been arrested after police found seven missing zoo animals in his apartment. The story doesn't say either way, but I'm guessing they tracked him down by smell. The new trendy drink? Clear coffee, so you're not continually staining your teeth. Although, at $3.50 a serving, I think maybe I'll just use toothpaste instead. Starting in 2020, Cadillacs will offer hands-free highway driving. Actually, we already have this in America, with drivers holding a phone in one hand and a cheeseburger in the other. Kanye West says he was diagnosed with a mental condition at the age of 39. Wow, those were some slow doctors. Protestant pastor Docho Ashete was baptizing around 80 followers near a lake in southern Ethiopia, but he will not be doing that anymore. Witnesses say a crocodile leapt from the water during the second baptism and attacked the pastor, killing him. Pastor Docho died after being bitten on his legs, back, and hands. Despite huge efforts, fishermen and residents could not save him. They did use fishing nets to prevent the crocodile from taking the pastor's body into the lake. The crocodile escaped. Now, this is quite the sales pitch for this church. You know, get saved and baptized so you can go to heaven, then immediately go to heaven. For the record, there are now more job openings out there than there are people out of work. Unfortunately, the jobs are not being filled because most Americans just are not qualified or experienced enough to work the Mickey D's fry line. In a survey by the Atkins Diet folks, we learned 54 percent think about food more than sex, and 1 in 10 would feel worse cheating on a diet than on a partner. Well, yeah, because partners are less fattening. A study says feeling disgust helps keep people healthy. Sounds like the perfect reason to keep Roseanne on the air, then. Kathy Griffin says that Ivanka Trump is all talk. Although Ivanka hasn't said anything and Kathy is still talking. In Corpus Christi, Texas, a man is recovering after he was bitten by a severed rattlesnake head. 
The man's wife, Jennifer Sutcliffe, said her husband, whose first name was not given, decapitated the snake with a shovel while the couple was doing yard work on Memorial Day weekend. But that did not stop the snake's head from biting the man minutes later when he attempted to discard the remains. The worst part was, since there is no body, it released all its venom into him at that point. Soon afterwards, Sutcliffe's husband couldn't see and started to have seizures. An ambulance met the pair as they headed to the emergency room, and a medical helicopter ended up having to rush him to the hospital. Although doctors initially said Mr. Sutcliffe might not make it, his condition is currently stable after he received 26 doses of antivenom. 26 doses! Because you were bitten by a decapitated rattlesnake. Don't tell me snakes aren't evil. Worms, too, because they look like snakes. And spaghetti noodles, too. That on-again, off-again, on-again summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un in Singapore is still on – for now – next Tuesday. It's kind of like a political version of the Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez thing. Regarding the Trump-Kim summit, there's actually buzz about Dennis Rodman being a part of it now. The only person Kim Jong-un trusts in our country is Dennis Rodman. Trump is taking policy advice from Kim Kardashian. I'm just curious, in this reality, does Spock have a beard or not? A recent study shows that nearly half of defensive and offensive linemen playing high school football in Iowa are overweight, and one in ten could be considered severely obese. Players say there is pressure to get bigger, whether it comes from parents, coaches, or within. They say they look up to college and pro football players, some of whom top 300 pounds. Well, what do you expect when you're required to play with what's called a pigskin? I mean, isn't that just a giant pork rind? Simon Cowell says he has not used his cell phone in 10 months, saying that it made him distracted and irritated. So all those years, he was like that because of his smartphone. The family of the late Chris Farley has filed a lawsuit against a bicycle company for naming its new fat tire the Farley. It replaced the Roseanne tire, which had a tendency to suddenly suffer late-night blowouts. Forget the grumpy old man. Men are actually happiest from ages 60 to 69, according to a Pew Research study, while they are least happy in their 20s. Why? Well, older adults are better able to avoid stressful situations, which could mean they experience less negative emotions. They also appear to spend less time dwelling on the negative aspects of a situation, which leads to a greater feeling of happiness. We simply mellow as we age. So I have to wait 11 more years before I can be my happiest? Running will certainly benefit your health, but you do need to look at what you are eating. Dietitians say it's a myth that running will automatically result in weight loss. So remember the 80-20 rule. Weight loss is 80% diet or nutrition and 20% exercise. You know, in fact, I spend 20% of my day running back and forth to the fridge, so I should be looking great any day now. Richard Simmons is suing a private investigator for allegedly planting a listening device in his car. Although, already listening in on Richard Simmons all day, that's probably punishment enough. There will be no swimsuit competition at the 2019 Miss America pageant. We've dropped it at our company picnic, too. JetBlue is cracking down on emotional support animals, only allowing people to bring cats, dogs, or small ponies on board for emotional support. They also are requiring three kinds of paperwork for people flying with an emotional support animal, including a note from a mental health professional, proof of a checkup from a veterinarian for the animal, and a form that says the animal owner attests that the animal is fully trained. So. It appears that uh, me and my emotional support sea monkeys will be flying Delta from now on. A recent poll shows that only 13 percent of Americans think the government should do something about income inequality. And now the government's already doing its best to make everyone equal. Equally poor. They're saying that laptops could soon have a 24-hour battery life. You know, if we, if we could simply create energy from methane gas, we'd never have to recharge our laptops. We could just get the job done by visiting a Taco Bell drive through If you like what you're hearing, please leave a review of the podcast and share a link to this episode on your social media. And tell a couple of friends about the podcast and suggest they subscribe, too. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.